a dry kit and we're going to go through Kaidrin's Mod Manager. But before we get into that, here's uh, Total War's version of Mod Manager, which is a lot better than it used to be. But as you can see, I can just select and deselect most mods and then launch it as normal, which is fine, but I can't group them together. So I wanted all the mix or or mix of the Edge of New York compilations and of course the SS4 version. Then I can put click on that and then I can launch it, but I can't repeat that action. I would have to keep unticking and reticking them as I needed to, because I play with a fair few different mods. So to get around this, I've been using Kaiju's mod manager for ever since Warhammer 1 pretty much. So let's close this and download the new version. So here's Kaidrin. So I've just done a quick search for Kaidrin Mod Manager. Click on the link and obviously click on the zip file and then download. It's a small 300k file, so we'll save that. And then click in the downloads folder and open it up. I think you have downloaded it a couple of times. And there it is. Only, a f only four files, so all I do is copy there and we need to put them somewhere on the computer. So I've created a folder on my C drive called Mod Manager and pasted them into there. Now this folder can be located anywhere on the same hard drive as your Steam software or it can be put onto a different partition. Like this is my normal boot partition and my Steam is actually on D drive which is down there. So let's create a quick shortcut to that so we can find it again easy. Oh, desktop, create a shortcut. Don't need this anymore. We don't need that anymore. So, let's double click on that. Now, it's the first thing that happens in Windows 10. It doesn't know what type of file this is. So, quick and more info. I'm run away. Anyway, and it only ever does that once. That holds up. It's now scanning your computer for uh, Warhammer or whatever. And what mods you got, also what versions of different Total War games. So this is the main screen. So as you can see, these are all, all my mods. These are my Warhammer 2 mods. Scrolling up and down there, you can sort by date, by title, very handy, or just by the file name itself. But title is probably the easiest. So let's say I want to use uh, Katat's Boys Ruby Boys mods. So I want to use those two. I want to use his Dragon Mage mod, his High Elf Sea Patrol mod, and his excellent Southern Realms mods. So, now I have to do is save this. So, let's save it as boys, we boys, base. So, that's, got my, oh, that's my base. So, if I want to add some more things at the later on, I can just quickly load this up and then rename it, which I'll show you in a bit. Quick save. So, I'll save that yes. And uh, here's one I did before called Boys. And that's just got the first two Boys and Boys, of course, the tabletop and of course the unit pack. And I can flip between the two, just like that. And all I have to do is quick launch. And hopefully, you know, you'll total the war up. There it goes. Um, just as a side note, the more mods you are running, the longer it will take total war to yield up. So. It, it can hang on this screen sometimes when you're using mods and using say 10 or 20 it, it gets in, it gradually increases so just be aware of that and come on there it goes so there's a cinematic let's get that cinematic there we go alright and just to prove that it's actually working we'll have a custom battle there's the empire and you can see there's the unit mod activated, and all the all the units that well, um, Katap has Katap has made. So that works the fine. So let's get out of this. And as you see, it's still open. And now I can close it and relaunch. And all the I know my previous profiles will be saved, so I can quickly find the one I want. Launch it and away I go. It's a hassle. A great little program. And there we go. And there's my still, still my profiles already used. As a side note, 
where this is, these are stored on, is not in the not my mod manager uh, folder. So I'll just quickly show you where to find them. So I've just got this other window. So make sure you got view and hidden items ticked. So take it there. App data, roaming, Kaiju mod manager, profiles, and one or two. And there are those files. So you can have if you ever get a, a big list of them, you can always just go into here quickly, delete the os, and they will disappear from the list. So if I deleted that one now, and we old program. For seconds it should build back up and we should have only one profile installed. Which we do. Perfect. And well at it, I already play Wii Warhammer, but this will also work for all these different Total War games. Warhammer to we want to etc etc down there. And you got the information, you can you can specify days, paths, and, and enjoy some different Things you can import profiles, you can choose which ones that happen at any particular time, and of course, the basic tools is there over there. So, and that is pretty much the entire everything you need to know about Kydrin's mod manager. Hope you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next video.